want to take a look at graphing a rational function. We're given our function h of x is equal to 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 divided by the quantity x minus 1. It is helpful to take a look at these in factored form. My numerator is indeed factorable. 2x plus 1 and x plus 1. We'll multiply out to give me the 2x squared plus 3x plus 1. My denominator simply has the x minus 1 term in it. Nothing divides out, so we know that there is no hole in this graph. We will, however, have a vertical asymptote. So taking a look, the vertical asymptote will occur wherever that denominator is equal to 0. So we want to know when does x minus 1 equals 0, adding 1 to both sides, we find that happens when x is equal to 1. So we know our vertical asymptote. We can now turn our attention to any horizontal asymptotes we have. Now here, the horizontal asymptotes will depend on the degree of the numerator and denominator. So the degree of the numerator in our function is larger than the degree of the denominator. That means we will not have a horizontal asymptote at all. We are going to have a slant asymptote. So there will be some linear equation. If you figure x squared divided by x is x, so I'm going to have some linear equation. The way we're going to find it is the good old-fashioned way we're going to use some long division. I'm going to take the numerator, 2x squared plus 3x plus 1, divided by the denominator, x minus 1. I'm interested first in the leading terms. 2x squared divided by x would be 2x. So my first term in our quotient is going to be 2x. We're going to multiply through. That's what we do when we long divide. 2x times x will give me a 2x squared. Then 2x times a negative 1. Keep in mind, these are polynomials we'll often have to distribute. So 2x times a negative 1 will give me a negative 2x. When we do long division, we multiply first and then subtract. Subtracting is going to cause a sign change, negative 2x squared and a positive 2x. Now combining terms, I will have my 5x and dropping down the next value, plus 1. Again, I'm looking at the leading terms. 5x divided by x would be a positive 5. So I will have plus 5 as a constant term here. And we're going to multiply through. 5 times x is 5x. 5 times a negative 1. A negative 5, we multiplied. Now subtract. Changes our signs to a negative 5x and a positive 5. I will have a remainder of 6. But this is the guy that interests us. Our slant asymptote is going to occur along the line y is equal to 2x plus 5. Now you could have used synthetic division to find the slant asymptote. I leave that to you. We have found vertical asymptotes. We saw there are no horizontal asymptote, but we did find a slant asymptote. We turn our attention next to any zeros. And keep in mind our function, any fraction, is equal to zero only if the numerator is equal to zero. And since we have our factored form, we know that 2x plus 1 times x plus 1 is equal to zero only if either 2x plus 1 is equal to zero or if x plus 1 is equal to zero. And solving those resulting equations, subtracting 1 from each side on the left equation, 2x is negative 1, and dividing by 2 we get x is negative 1 half. We have one x-intercept, one zero, when x is negative 1 half. From our other equation, we find our second x-intercept. It occurs when x is negative 1. Asymptotes, zeros, 
Another thing we want to take a look at, are there any y-intercepts? So we are interested now in a vertical intercept. But the vertical intercept only occurs when x is equal to 0. x can be 0 here. We only had an asymptote when x equaled 1. So when we look at f of 0, in my numerator, I'm left only with the number 1. In my denominator, plugging in a 0, I'm left with a negative 1. So we know our x-intercepts occur, excuse me, the vertical intercept, the y-intercept occurs at y is negative 1. We have our asymptotes, our zeros, and our intercepts. We're ready to graph. Taking a look at our graph now, first we can start with that vertical intercept we found at x is equal to 1. So we know we have a vertical, in, excuse me, a vertical asymptote at x equals 1. We did not have a horizontal asymptote, but we did have a slant asymptote at x is equal to 2x plus 5. That's not going to be terrible to graph. We know we can graph linear equations. And so we have our slant asymptote. Following that line, y equals 2x plus 5. We found two zeros. One of them occurred at negative 1. The other one occurred at negative 1 half. So I know the bottom side is bounded for this graph. We also had a vertical intercept, a y-intercept, at negative 1. Following along the line of our asymptote, this graph just barely crosses the x-axis, bounces back down, crosses the y-axis, and is therefore trapped underneath. I know what half of the graph looks like. Now we should keep in mind what the end behavior of this graph should be, and it will depend on the degree of the denominator. We have an odd degree in our denominator because we had x to the first power. So I know this function should have opposite end behavior. And if you think about what 1 over x normally looks like, it's bounded, it has a pair of asymptotes and that opposite end behavior. Since we already had the bottom part of the graph crawling along here, then the upper side of the graph would be trapped by the asymptotes caused by the lines x equals 1 and y equals 2x plus 5. So we'll have this little curve on the upper part of our graph. And so we've completed the graph of our rational function with a slant asymptote.